Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy and welcome to day 17 of the Learn GIMP tutorial series. Today we're going to be turning this image into a HDR image. So high dynamic range is what that stands for. And what we're really going to focus on here is getting this mountain to pop out a lot more because it just, it feels, it's kind of foggy, it's faint, and I just want it to pop out so it can see, it can be seen a lot better. To get started, we're just gonna duplicate this layer right here twice. So click it twice right there. And you're gonna shift click the center one so it'll hide those two. And then we wanna click to make sure that we're on this middle layer right here. Go up to colors, go to levels, and let's just drop this down right here on your input levels. We're just gonna be focusing more on what's going on with the colors in the mountain right here. Okay, I think that that is good. So hit okay. Actually, let's just check this middle one, make sure. And then... yeah. Oh. Okay, perfect, okay. Now hit okay. We're gonna add a layer mask to this top layer. Right there, add layer mask, and then white full opacity, that's fine, just leave that as it is. Now come over here and you wanna make sure that the, uh, that the white is on the back side here. So we're gonna change that, swap that around so black is in the front and white is on the back. So just make, your, make sure your background and foreground colors match mine. And then go up to gradients right here. And I'm going to aim for, see the type of gradient that I have down here? I have, uh, let's see, foreground to background. You see it right there. Make sure you have that one selected. Okay, and we're just going to play around with this a bit. But if I come straight down and I hold control, it'll lock that straight down in and then I'll release it. And what's happening here is if, if you look over here on the layer mask, if you haven't worked with layer masks before, you'll, it'll show the black fading to the white. So if I start right here in the middle, holding down control, it's gonna change where that comes out. It's gotta update a little bit. You'll see down here the white that's coming through here. Okay, and that's just gonna make this lighter. Now the dark end is it's letting through, it's kind of like creating an opacity where it's letting through this lower image's darker colors so that they'll show on the front. So I'm just gonna do that right there. And because we're trying to get this mountain over here that's um, lighter, we're gonna target this kind of at an angle here. Now, let's see. Now we want more dark here. Too much now. Okay, now this is a little too dark, but I do like this color here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to my paintbrush right here and using the, the lighter color, so swap this out right here so that white's in the front. And I'm gonna make sure that my opacity is okay, 20. Okay, and I'm just gonna test it, okay? I'm just gonna paint that a little bit right there to lighten that just a bit. might actually be too much now. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's a little too light now. Let's bring it back. It's just control Z to undo, like every other program. And I'm going to increase the size here. There we go. What I'm also gonna do is lighten up these barn areas. You see how I just kind of just go in there. I'm clicking, I'm lighting up, giving us more of a vibrant. We can pop out a lot better. There we go. I'm highlight this area right here some. There we go. There we go. And then just 
click someone here, these trees, these really dark areas. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just going to check. So I'll hold down shift, click on this bottom layer, and you can see that's the before, and that is our after. So you can see that we, the grass here, so real quick, I'll just hide this. You see that the grass here is just one plain single color. Well, we increase the range of colors. You can see right here that it's going to get that. Oh, you gotta hide that right there. There you go. You can see that there's a lot more color variation in here. Then you also have that mountain that's just popping out and it just looks a lot cleaner and sexier, as they say. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.